Right, hey guys, are you ready? Uh, Hamilton, had, uh, did you have the American Legion record that Hamilton took you away from the season? What did that do for your motivation? Well, I mean, I respect Duncan Hamilton. I'd say it more got me excited uh, because I, like, I'd be able to race against him here at Nationals, and uh, he's really good. And uh, today was my day. He's a really good day guy. Maybe he would have got me on another day, but... I, that got me more excited than anything to race against him. Salt Lake City's at altitude, right? Um, yeah, it is. So, how are you dealing with like, the heat and humidity during the race? You know, it's it's kind of hot. Uh, well, I I came to Austin in 2019, my freshman year, and raced here. But this time doesn't feel as hot. I think part of it, I just prepared better. I also lived two years in Uganda as a missionary, so that might have helped a little bit too. But, <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I don't think most people have had that experience while they're running. Yeah, it was it was it was wonderful. I I got to be able to spend some good time out there, just teaching other people about Jesus Christ and serving them and uh, it was awesome. The people in Uganda are uh, really loving and uh, good people. And I also served actually in Warham, Utah for a little bit because of COVID. I had to get sent back for a little bit so I was there for six months and then went back out. So. Yeah, it was good. Good to serve the Lord. Oh, well, it, it was exciting to watch. Uh, you know, I was not here in person to watch it. I was watching it on TV, and you know, they focus on the front, and uh, I was cheering for both of them, but when, Cla when Megan was in last with 200 to go, I kind of thought she was out of it, and I was just focusing on Claire, like, come on, Claire, finish, and then she finished, and then Megan's name popped up, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so, yeah, they, they performed really well. Just excited for them, I think, uh, help me, remind me that special things can happen when, you know, sometimes you feel like you're out of it, you know, just keep pushing I felt good. I uh, I really like to lead going fast because I get a clear look at the barriers and uh, it helps me get some clean hurdles and it gives me a lot of confidence when the person behind me is starting to drop a little bit. It helps me move forward more. But yeah, I just I, I really like being in the lead going fast. Um, I can see a shadow. I was also peeking over my shoulder at the water drum. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I didn't look back at all after the water jump. What was the What was the plan that you and Ed came up with? Um, well, I've been in a lot of different race scenarios this year. I've been in fast races. I've been in races that have gone out slow. I've succeeded well in all of all of the races I've been in so far. And so just going into the confidence that I put myself in good position, not necessarily up to the front, but just to be there and be ready to respond to moves when they come. And uh, then just make make a hard push at 600 to go. So that was that was what the race plan was. Ended up working out, and sometimes it doesn't always exactly go to plan, but today it, I, it went pretty much to plan. But yeah, just taking it as it comes. What do you have, what do you have coming up the uh, rest of this summer? Uh, I'm gonna be training for US Championships. Um, I'm actually at school right now too. Uh, spring term ends on the 22nd, so. Any predictions for next next year's championships? Um, <laughs> Uh, it's, that's next year. I'm not going to predict on that yet. So do you still have finals to come in? Um, do I still have what? Finals. It's school. Uh, yeah, I have finals on the 22nd, 23rd. Yeah, I'm just taking spring. I'm taking two classes right now. So they're, they're not super hard, but yeah, I've been doing homework on this trip. Okay. Yeah, well the 825 is because I ran 817 at Sound Running, which which didn't count towards a regional qualifying mark. It didn't have enough events, so it wasn't NCA sanctioned me, but I ran 817 there, and um, he ran faster than I did. He ran by himself, so that, I mean, that was very impressive. Uh, I ran 817, uh, and I closed really fast. I felt like my speed would be able to 
you know, maybe I could get it with my speed if I was there. So that was kind of my mindset.